Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train and in today's grocery haul video, I've got a free meal planning challenge and some Ibotta deals. Well, I feel like I am back on a somewhat normal schedule. For the first two weeks of January, we did a pantry challenge. And then last week, I bought some things for like $3 tree meals. And if you guys missed that video on Friday, I'll link it down below for you. I feel like my grocery budget was all out of whack because I had to buy this thing and then this thing. And then I had a lower grocery budget for the past couple weeks. So this week is looking a little bit more normal. I'm also totally loading up on all the fruits and vegetables. I realized that I have really been slacking with all of my fruit and vegetable intake and I think that's taking a toll on just how I'm feeling in general like physically and mentally emotionally so I bought a ton of fresh produce I'm going to add to all of my meals this week I'm also doing a free meal planning challenge in my Facebook group I've talked about it before I'm going to link my Facebook group in the description below but we're doing a meal planning challenge this week on frugal and healthy foods showing you that you can eat healthy on a budget this I got a meal plan in there and a meal prep plan with all the recipes. I'm making the recipes right along with them and giving lots of healthy budget tips along the way. So I would love to have you join us. Click that link in the description to join my Facebook group. So I visited three different stores this week. There is Mr. Max, Walmart, and Aldi, and each store had different things that I needed to buy. So let me go ahead and take you into the grocery halls. We made a quick snack run at Mr. Max. Had to get a bunch of like crackers and little lunchbox items for Allison as well as some snack bars for us to stock up on. So first of all, these Think Bars are so good. I bought a few of them last week and love the peanut butter and I wasn't sure I would like the Lemon Delight, but it is really good. So I got six of them just to split between me and John. And then we got some bugles for Allison, something that she just wanted. Then she also wanted some more Annie's cookie dough protein bars. This one is the chocolate peanut butter. She also wanted some of these. She's had it before. The Sorbet's chocolate orange. They're just little sorbet bars. They're really good according to her. Then she got some little snack crackers. These are basically like the Cheez-Its. I got her white cheddar ones from Walmart and she very kindly told me she prefers the actual cheddar ones instead of the white cheddar but she will eat the white cheddar popcorn. Um, the Skinny Pop, this is only 75 cents, which was awesome. So I got a big bag of that. Those are good for her lunches. She also picked out pretzel rods and she's not normally a fan of pretzels, but she says she likes the rods better than like actual little pretzels. Then they got in some more lower bars, peanut butter chocolate chip, the eight count box was only 325, awesome deal. So I had to get at least one of these. Then I had to get some more granola bars for her, and these were oatmeal raisin, some nut-free ones. And then for me, I'm obsessed with these soft-baked cookie bars. Got two more of the chocolate peanut butter. So hopefully that should be enough to last us a week. Wow, I had a full-on shopping trip today at both Walmart and Aldi, the majority of it being at Aldi. So let me start over here. I had got some strawberries for Allison's lunches. They're $2.79, but they're actually starting to look a lot better, thankfully. Um, I got three bags of baby carrots for a side item and then for another dinner. I got three dozen eggs to use for breakfast. And blueberries are on sale. They're on sale this week for $1.49 each. I got three of them. I will probably freeze a lot of them, use them in yogurts and in my oatmeal. Then two blocks of cheese. I got a mild cheddar, then a sharp cheddar, just for a couple different recipes. I got some ground turkey. This is the 93% lean. This is usually $3.99, but as you can see, got a sticker $2 off, so it was $1.99, and that was amazing. I also got three cans of diced tomatoes for some recipes. Got some more milk, then some more stevia for my coffee. Got some spinach for smoothies and for some egg cups. And I was actually surprised that they have this creamer still, the dark chocolate peppermint mocha. It's a seasonal item. And I mean, Christmas time is over, but they still have plenty in stock. It's not like on discount or anything. So I'm gonna keep buying this as long as it's available. 
Then I got some romaine hearts I'm chopping up to use like in rice and beans kind of like as a salad. I ran out of everything bagel seasoning a few weeks ago. Walmart has not been able to keep this in stock so thankfully Aldi had some. And I got two cans of tomato sauce for a recipe. Got a three pound bag of gala apples for snacks. Got some uh, yellow potatoes. Some of it's going into mashed potatoes and I'm not sure what I'll do with the rest yet. I might like roast them for like breakfast hash browns or something. Then some smoked uncured ham just for deli sandwiches for dinner. I also got some whole milk Greek yogurt, some sour cream, and some more cottage cheese. I have realized that the cottage cheese from Walmart, the Great Value brand, it just doesn't taste very good. It has this weird sweet taste to it, and Aldi does not have that weird taste. This is like the best kind I've ever had, so glad to be back to Aldi brand. And I got two of these uh, yogurts, the, the two of the four packs. These are vanilla protein yogurts just for John snacks. We are also out of spreadable butter. I love this Irish butter. It's one of my favorites. And frozen vegetables, I got two bags of broccoli and two bags of green beans just using for side items. Got a few grapes. They were $1.39 a pound, which is really good. I got a bunch of broccoli crowns. I'll be chopping these up and roasting them, putting them in a couple of different recipes. I got some cauliflower. I'm actually going to rice this and mix it up with some rice for a recipe just to give myself some extra vegetables. Got some sliced cheddar cheese for our deli sandwiches. I got a two pound bag of dried black beans. I'm just using part of it this week and some black beans and rice. I'll save the rest for a later time. Then some mushrooms I'll be cooking inside a spaghetti sauce. And that is actually it for Aldi. Now Walmart, I didn't buy a whole lot of stuff. My goal for Walmart was to try and use that gift card I got from Ibotta last week to try and get some Ibotta deals. And I got a few. Um, some of this stuff was part of grocery, but I just included it in the gift card anyway. So none of this is technically out of pocket. It was from that gift card. First thing was some more Texas toast. Uh, we still have a little bit left from last week. I'll be using it for Allison's sandwiches and possibly the rest of it for some French toast. And then the other thing that was not Ibotta was just some lentils for dinner. Now all of this stuff was Ibotta deals. This uh, refrigerated perfect bar was $1.98. I'm also getting $1.98 back for my Ibotta. Same with this Campbell's Well Yes Soup. This one's the roasted chicken with rice, and I don't usually buy canned soup, but the ingredients on this aren't too bad at all. I might eat this for lunch sometime soon, but this was $1.98, and I got $1.98 back. Then I got two boxes of Celestial Seasonings Tea. John is a tea drinker and he likes trying different kinds and the white chocolate peppermint looked really good. But these were $2.39 and I'm getting Ibotta deals back a um, dollar for each one. So $2 back. Then there is an any item deal. I'm getting 10 cents back from that. Then these two, the Ritz Toasted Chips, these were I think like $2.98 or something and I'm getting $2.98 back so it is like buy one get one free. But I'll have the total for all the Ibotta stuff here in a little bit once I figure out what that is. But that is for all of my shopping trip. I'll be right back with the total. My total for this week was $93.97. And I ended up getting back $8.95 from Ibotta from all the stuff that I bought, which means I'm up to like 13 something dollars now and I can cash out at 20. If you all are interested in joining Ibotta, I've got a link in the description that's my affiliate link for you guys to sign up. And not everything on Ibotta is a great deal. And there are some things that I kind of thought about buying, but it just wasn't a good fit for our family. So not everything's a great deal, but you can find some pretty good stuff there. Now let me show you what is on the menu this week. Our menu this week is fairly simple. Sunday we're having small group and as side items I'm making some honey roasted carrots in the slow cooker as well as some homemade bread and I will link all the recipes in the description for you. Monday is one of those recipes that's in that meal planning challenge. This is like a meal prep pasta and meat sauce. I'm taking half of that ground turkey and cooking it up with some tomato sauce and some seasonings. 
and put it over some pasta, I'm having some frozen broccoli to go with it. What I'm also doing, like I said, I'm trying to eat a lot more fruits and vegetables. I'm shredding some of those baby carrots and I'm kind of chopping up those mushrooms. I'm going to cook them up and add them to the meat sauce as well just to get some extra veggies in there. Then Tuesday, I'm making a one-pot cheeseburger pasta. This is going in my group coaching program. I'm making this and recording it to give to them. I think I might serve it with some frozen broccoli or something. And Wednesday is another one of those uh, recipes in the meal planning challenge. It's just lentils, broccoli, and mashed potatoes. It's one of those, um, kind of like a meal prep bowl as well. Then Thursday is slow cooker, black beans, and rice. There's a few um, vegetarian meals in here, which is nice. Um, and then I'm also taking that cauliflower and ricing it to put inside the rice, kind of mixing it up so we can get a little bit more nutrition in there. Then Friday, I'm having deli sandwiches with that ham and cheese and the Texas toast probably have some of those Ritz toasted chips and some frozen green beans to go with it. And Saturday is more than likely going to be pancakes. And as far as breakfast goes, we're having like oatmeal and smoothies as part of that meal planning challenge. Just some frugal and healthy breakfast. I'm making French toast out of some of that bread. I'm also making some egg and veggie cups. So it'll have like spinach and probably some shredded cheese in there as well, just for some extra protein. And then lunch is always leftovers. So I've got a lot of meal prep to do, but it should be good. I've got some pretty awesome videos coming up in the next week or so. I've got a Dollar General video coming out this week, so make sure you guys look out for that. I'm in the process of looking at more Dollar Tree meals. I'm also going to be organizing my spice cabinet. There are probably spices up there that are like two years old. Very embarrassing, but you get to come along and watch me do that and get some ideas on how to organize. So if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, I highly recommend it. would love for you to join me. That way you can be notified whenever more videos like this come out or my other recipes and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later.